That five hour long meeting stretched into the night and kept getting interrupted, but ultimately the school board decided to require masks for the next three months. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. Tonight's special meeting was in response to a rise in COVID-19 inspection infections, largely because of the spread of the Delta variant. ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon was at tonight's meeting where many parents argued to keep face coverings off of their kids. The Sarasota County School Board passing a 90 day mask mandate for students in public schools. No one may opt out except for medical reasons. The mandate ends if the positivity rate in the county drops below 8% for three consecutive days. The mandate would be reenacted if the positivity rate rose above 10%. The discussion on face coverings lasted more than five hours. The meeting interrupted numerous times from parents yelling at board members. The majority of parents who attended Friday's meeting do not want their child to wear a face covering. Do not get to dictate whether my child can go to school or not with a mask. Leave my child health care decisions to me. Some parents are in favor of masks. We met one mom who says her child is now self-isolating at home after he was exposed to COVID-19 in middle school. I mean, our son did everything, right? He, he has a vaccine, he has masks, but still he had to come home. Sarasota County Public Schools becoming the sixth district in the state to defy the governor's executive order preventing districts from mandating masks. We can't educate the kids when they are home because they're quarantined because some parent doesn't want to get a vaccine. Some parent doesn't want to put a, a mask on their child. The kids have to be in school. School board members voted three to two, passing a mask mandate. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.